Uh, today uh, was the beginning of the acknowledgement between the Crown and the Defence as to Mr. Souter's true responsibility for the events of May 19, 2013. The Crown uh, is acknowledging, and the Souter family is uh, grateful for this, that Mr. Souter was not impaired when he pressed the wrong pedal and crashed into the patio at Rick's Grill on May 19th. And he caused the death of Gio Munsef, age two, and he also caused the injury of three other people. On the other hand, Mr. Souter is accepting responsibility for the fact that he unlawfully refused to provide a breath sample when a police officer arrested him and demanded a breath sample. Mr. Souter accepts responsibility for that offense and he knows that the Crown will still be looking for a substantial period of incarceration for that offense. We wish to uh, make it clear that Mr. Souter is terribly sorry for the events of that night. Could you expand a bit more on the toll that this has taken on your clients? Well, you saw on Ju January 22nd what happened. Mr. Souter was abducted from his home in front of his wife. Uh, a hood put over his head, kidnapped, uh, uh, brought to the outskirts of the city, uh, taken out of a vehicle, beaten up across his body, across his face, and then mutilated. Somebody cut off his thumb. That's the physical uh, result of this campaign, which was unfair to Mr. Souter. But beyond that, and far beyond that, is the emotional toil, toll it's taken on Mr. Souter and his wife, Geska, and their family. They live in perpetual fear now. Today, we are so grateful to the Creator for hearing our prayers and guiding us along this first step towards accountability. It's been a long two years trying to heal from the irreparable damage that was done to our family. Today, Gio is smiling upon us all because we have taken the first step towards achieving justice for Gio. Thank you.